It's important to remember that as a teacher, you teach the same concept or idea many times in many different ways. So I'm not going to just teach the letter B by saying, look, I'm going to write a B and then be done. I'm going to teach them about that concept lots and lots of times. So my example is this. I'll teach you four different ways, but there are many different ways you can teach things. So we can start by singing about the alphabet. A, B, C, D, and then so on. But remembering that we did focus on the letter B. Another way to do it is later on during the day, let's practice our writing. We have our chalkboard and our chalk, and I can teach the students a B has a big line and then two curves. And look, we made the letter B. That is the second way I have talked about the letter B with my students. Another way to do it is through physical movement. So, kids like to move, so let's try it. B, B, B. There's a third way. And also another way to reach students is through books. I have my ABC book. So, A, B, C. We'll read our book, we'll find the letter that we're talking about, and we'll read that page. Students really like to learn through many different ways so that they can experience that topic. It's also important to know I'm talking about the letter B, but even if I was talking about the weather or rain or bears, it still needs to be taught many times in different ways.